Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear kids, how are you today? I am very well, alhamdulillah. How about your other classes? I hope they are well. Um, as we don't have physical schools now, have you ever thought how you are doing your projects? But when any project is given to you, what do you think? Do you, do you use natural materials? Do you use artificial materials? Ready materials available in your house? Waste materials? What do you use? So different students have different styles of making a project. In our next lesson, there's a small story about a girl who got a project and how she used one I'll not say material, but she had a very different type of mat uh, project. Before we go there, let us talk about life cycle of a butterfly. I'm sure in your previous class and in this year too, you must have studied life cycle of a butterfly, like how uh, butterflies lay eggs and these legs are formed into larva and then they become, later on they become an adult butterfly. So this is a cycle. It comes out of an egg to become a caterpillar, then a pupa, and finally a beautiful butterfly. So this entire process is called metamorphosis. Um, which other insect or which other animal do you think lays eggs and goes through the process of metamorphosis? Talk to your science teacher or Google it and tell me the answer because I'm not your science teacher, so I'll not tell you the answer. Okay. Uh, let's read about this beautiful story about a butterfly. We have all chased butterflies, haven't we? Yes, but have you ever caught one? I have never caught one. So this is a story about a little girl who caught a butterfly and let's find out what she did with it. Let's get started. Name of the girl is Hasmina. Hasmina was wide awake in her bed. She had woken up from a marvelous dream. Marvelous means wonderful dream. In which she had won the hockey match in the interstate competition. Do you also get dreams? Have you ever dreamt of winning any trophy or winning any competition? Think over it. Um, she was just getting ready to receive the trophy when the alarm rang. Tring, tring. So she had to get up. But Hasmina was not unhappy to get up. Why do you think she was not unhappy? Maybe there was something interesting going to happen at the school, so she was not unhappy. She happily got up. She ran straight to her study table. There is an empty jam bottle with a holy lid. The lid had some holes in it. And was there was her treasure. Treasure means? Yes, a, a very precious thing. A colorful little butterfly. How difficult it had been to catch it. I can imagine that. It must have been very difficult. Can you relate to it? Have you ever tried catching a butterfly? Well, come back to physical school and then try to catch. We have lots of butterflies now in our garden. Alhamdulillah. And now it was going to be part of her science project in the school. So she was going to use the butterfly in the science project. Mm, it makes me thinking, what is she going to do with the butterfly? Will she clip its wings? Will she dissect it? Or what is she going to do with the butterfly? I'm curious to find out. Let's go together. So the project required Hasmina to submit the study of a living creature every month. 
so it was not about clipping any wings or anything so it was just the study of a living creature normally the projects that you do you do it only for once and then uh, you leave it behind but kids from now you have to try and improvise your own projects पहले आपने कुछ एक स्टेज पे बनाया देन इम्प्रूवड इट देन इम्प्रूवड इट एंड देन द फाइनल वर्जन इस तरह से स्टडी द वर्किंग ऑफ दैट प्रोजेक्ट स्टडी द साइंस ऑफ दैट प्रोजेक्ट डोंट जस्ट डू इट फॉर डू इट योर सेल्फ एक्टिविटी कुछ उसमें इंटरेस्टिंग चीजें होनी चाहिए सो मोस्ट ऑफ अ क्लासमेट्स वॉट इट दू दे ड्रू डाइग्राम्स फ्रॉम देयर बुक्स एज पार्ट ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज but hasmina was different just like you kids hasmina was going to do something different she was going to present a live creature her butterfly hasmina loved the different colors on the wings of the butterfly do you also love um the different colors on the wings of a butterfly well i love it i know you also love it too red green and blue how beautiful it looked when it fluttered its wings how beautiful hasmina had made a few holes in the cap of the bottle to let air pass through she dressed in a hurry and left for school dekho kitni achhi bachchi hai she went to school early and you come to school late i know that when she reached school the gate was not wholly open that means she was early to school so normally she doesn't come early to school um a few children were playing in the field in the garden um in the ground um do you also play in the gr- ground when you come early to school i know you do i have seen you many times play in the field any other day would have seen hasmina joining them without a second thought means uh, if it was any other day um not this project day hasmina would have gone and played in the field with other students without a second thought means without much thinking about it just saw the kids went for playing but today she walked straight into her class she opened the window and placed the bottle on the window sill like here she kept the bottle on the window sill the golden rays of the sun streamed through the glass and on the delicate wings of the butterfly and added a sheen to them so this uh, is a beautiful scene like the sun rays are creating um you see when sun rays pass through glass um it reflects different colors we see different rays forming we see a vivid joy or violet indigo just like a rainbow so it added beauty to the butterfly hasmina's butterfly looked simply gorgeous wonderful even children from other classes came to see it has it happened with you have you ever done any project and the children from other classes came to see your project has it ever happened with you think over it name one project that you did and other students also watched it hasmina's science teacher was very happy that everyone could study a trapped butterfly so closely and hasmina naturally she felt so proud she was so very happy um have you tried catching a butterfly did you succeed in your efforts so this is a personal question for me i have never tried catching and even if i tried i never succeeded but what about you and what does hasmina plan to do with her butterfly what was her plan she used it for the project a live creature project um while going back home that day she took her favorite route through rashmi aunty's garden 
bushes grew widely there and the place teemed with birds and insects insects so the, the bushes uh, it, it must have been a nice rainy season that the grass the bushes were uh, very thick over there and at the same time when you have lots of grass and lots of plants you have lots of birds and insects so the whole place was full was full of people or animal hasmina felt like putting all the insects she saw into the bottle look at this look at the, the desire the greed in hasmina and this is not a negative greed this is a positive greed that she liked something and she wanted that she will use it uh, for presentation in her classroom but she checked herself as she wanted her butterfly to have enough space so she cared about the butterfly and left other insects she did not go and catch other insects that night hasmina suddenly woke up around midnight it was very late at night she went to the study table and patted the lid of the bottle lightly the butterfly did not move what do you think happened hasmina thought it was a slip she shook the jar some more but the butterfly remained still hasmina got worried she splashed a little water into the jar splashed she poured down just like she is doing here the water seemed to help but the butterfly shivered a little <sighs> hasmina heaved a sigh of relief <sighs> when you finally when you get some good news after lots of worried period you heave a sigh of relief sitting on her bed she stayed at the jar for a long time the butterfly was still again what would you do if you were at hasmina's place if you saw the butterfly to be so worried so the butterfly in such a situation that it is not moving what would you do after a while hasmina got up and holding the bottle tightly in her hand she went to the window Uh oh what is she going to do near the window the air or outside was fresh and cool she opened the lid of the bottle and shook it gently so she opened the bottle and shook it why do you think she shook it well to let butterfly move outside the butterfly started to move slowly as if waking from a deep sleep it landed itself on the edge of the bottle it the uh, perched itself perched means landed or sat so it landed itself on the edge of the bottle it waited there for a long time hasmina also waited all of a sudden the butterfly began to flutter its wings to hasmina the uh, the sight of the butterf fluttering wings was magical Suddenly there was a loud thud from the ga uh, garden outside and she turned towards the sound. So uh, she was distracted from the sound and she looked for the sound where it came from. A coconut had fallen from the tree. So what was the sound of the falling coconut tree? And uh, no, not the whole tree but a coconut from the tree. When Hasmina looked at the jar again she found the butterfly had gone She sat staring at the empty bottle for a while feeling a little empty herself um so you, you see her friend who she cared for a long time it was a one month project so she cared for that butterfly for one month maybe and then she felt uh, empty when the butterfly had gone but she was happy that she had sent the butterfly back to where it belonged do you think that jar was the natural house of the butterfly no that jar was not the house of that butterfly 
It belonged to the bushes, it belonged to the trees, it belonged to the flowers. So this is the natural habitat where animals live. The same thing happens in zoos. Um, we cage the, the animals from their natural surroundings. We give a small cage to a monkey and only two trees to climb upon. It cannot fling much on it. But Hasmina was a very nice girl. She let the butterfly go into its natural surrounding. Um, will the butterfly survive inside the jar? No, uh, the butterfly would not have survived in the jar. It would have died very early. What do you think the butterfly might have felt seeing the birds and insects fly about freely in Rashmi auntie's garden? Just imagine you are caged in and you see some people walking, roaming outside. We have a very good example in lockdown. During lockdown, how did people feel when they were locked inside their own houses? Did they feel happy? No, many people had stress attacks. We did not feel happy. Just the same way the butterfly must have felt sad looking at other birds. Um, now this was a beautiful um, story, not a, a simple chapter, but it was a story. I want you to identify the beginning, the middle and end of the story. How did the story begin? What was in the middle of the story and what was in the end? You can also write it down or you can mark in your course books. Before we go ahead with the uh, I understand section to check the question and answers, let us go ahead and watch the video about Hasmina's butterfly. Hasmina's butterfly. Hasmina had woken up from a marvelous dream in which she had won the hockey match in the school competition. She was just getting ready to receive the trophy when the alarm rang. But Hasmina was not too unhappy to get up. She ran straight to her study table where there is an empty jam bottle with a holy lid, which was her treasure, a colorful little butterfly and now it was going to be part of her science project in school. The project required Hasmina to submit the study of a living creature. Most of her classmates drew diagrams from their books as part of this exercise. But Hasmina was going to do something different. She was going to present a live creature, her butterfly. How beautiful it looked when it fluttered its wings. Hasmina had made a few holes in the cap of the bottle to let air pass through. She dressed in a hurry and left for school. When she reached school, she walked straight into her class. She opened the window and placed the bottle on the window sill. The golden rays of the sun streamed through the glass on the delicate wings of the butterfly and added a sheen to them. Hasmina's butterfly looked simply gorgeous. Even children from other classes came to see it. Hasmina's science teacher was very happy that everyone could study a trapped butterfly so closely. Hasmina felt very proud. That night, Hasmina suddenly woke up around midnight. She went to the study table and patted the lid of the bottle lightly. The butterfly did not move. She shook the jar some more, but the butterfly remained still. Hasmina got worried. She splashed a little water into the jar. The butterfly shivered a little. Hasmina heaved a sigh of relief. Sitting on bed, she stared at the jar for a long time. The butterfly was still again. After a while, Hasmina took the bottle and went to her window. The air outside was fresh and cool. She opened the lid of the bottle and shook it gently. The butterfly started to move slowly. It perched itself on the edge of the bottle. It waited there for a long time. All of a sudden, the butterfly began to flutter its wings. Suddenly, there was a loud thud from the garden outside and she turned towards the sound. When Hasmina looked at the jar again, she found the butterfly gone. She sat staring at the empty bottle for a while, feeling a little empty herself. But she was happy that she had sent the butterfly back to where it belonged. 
Well then, now that you have watched the, the animation and understood the lesson, let me ask you a few questions and I'm not going to help you in these fill in the blanks. You have to read the uh, fill in the blanks and do it yourself. Hasmina caught a dash for her dash. Did she catch any insect? Was it for cooking or what? So you have to write the answers. Hasmina made dash in the lid of the dash. So what was that where uh, uh, the small... <laughs> I can't tell you the answers. I'm stopping myself. So you, you can do it, it's very easy. She put the jar with the butterfly on the dash in the class. Where did she keep the jar of the butterfly? Did she keep on the table? No, was, she, was it near window? What was that place called? And dash from other class came to admire it. The uh, other people, so who are these people here? Hasmina walked through Dash Auntie. What was the name of that auntie? And wanted to put more Dash in her jar. So, fill in what uh, other things she saw there and she wanted to put in her jar. Hasmina's Dash flew away when she was distracted by a fallen. What had fallen down? From a tree, a fruit had fallen down. And she was distracted by the sound. What was that fruit? And what did Hasmina dream of? Yes, Hasmina dreamt of winning a competition, tennis competition in inter-school competition. What does the word treasure refer to? Here, what was the treasure of Hasmina? Yes, Hasmina's treasure was her a beautiful butterfly. Why was the butterfly still? and lifeless. Um, the, uh, the butterfly was still and lifeless because it was caged in a bottle and it could not fly outside. What did the butterfly do when Hasmina sprinkled water over it? It started flickering its wings just a little. What made the butterfly move? shaking movements of the jar by Hasmina and uh, she opened the lid of the bottle of the jar. So it made the butterfly move. What happened to the butterfly finally? The butterfly moved outside the jar and went into the bushes. And I hope she is fine over there. Let's do some thinking. How do you think the butterfly felt inside the glass jar? Was it happy? Was it sad? Uh, is it a nice thing to cage animals in jars? Do you think Hasmina did the right thing by trapping the butterfly inside the jar without food and water? Was it right? Was it nice? And why was Hasmina feeling a little empty herself? Do you think she cared for the butterfly? During the whole process of her project, and till the very end, did she care for the butterfly? I want to know from you, what do you think about this? What is your understanding? I don't want to give you answer to this because it is about your thinking. Now, this is a reading blog. So, blog kya hota hai? Blog is a short form for weblog. Weblog means it is an online journal that could be personal or topical and could be read by the general public. So if I want to write about uh, uh, any project, I write it and I post it on Facebook, YouTube, people read it and that becomes a blog. A blog can be informational and written in an informal way, just like a diary. Uh, just like a log, uh, uh, people write their own diary uh, and then this was a very important incident in my life uh, like that so people also write blogs um, I don't want to read this I want you to read these blogs read this blog about some interesting and unusual plants around the world so this is one blog piece and it has different plants and 
uh, interesting and unusual plants, normally which we don't see in our houses or surrounding. Same thing, you have to read this. And again, do you see this flower, how beautiful it looks? Um, yes, so it has a different and unusual attraction to it. Read about it, please. And then uh, answer these questions like why is the baobab tree called the tree of life? In which country can it be found? Once you read uh, about the baobab tree or other plants and trees, you can answer these questions. Um, so, do you think animals also have feelings? So many fables have been written. Fable means uh, stories uh, surrounding animals only, like animals talk in those stories. So many fables have been written about animals showing love, anger and pain. I've got a similar type of a story for you. Uh, the story of the mongoose and the snake. So listen to it very carefully and then try to answer these questions. Ready? Let's get started. Once there lived a farmer and his wife. They had a little son. The farmer had a pet mongoose. The little boy and the mongoose were fond of each other. They were good playmates. One day, the farmer was busy at his fields. The farmer's wife had left to the market. The little boy was fast asleep in a cradle. Cradle means? Yes, that cradle. The mongoose was lying ne down near the cradle. A cobra, a cobra snake, somehow got into the house and it was nearing the little boy. The mongoose sniffed the snake and jumped up. He fought with the cobra. The cobra began to attack. There was a fierce fight between the cobra and the mongoose. The mongoose finally bit and killed the cobra. The mongoose saw the farmer's wife returning from market. He ran happily towards her to greet her. She saw blood around the mouth and jaws of the mongoose. The farmer's wife mistook that the mongoose had attacked her son. The farmer's wife took a long stick and gave heavy blows on the mongoose and then ran into the house. She was shocked to see a dead cobra lying on the floor near her son. Now she realized her mistake. Her sorrow knew no bounds. What did the mother think when she saw the mongoose with blood around its mouth? What does the story tell us about the bond between the mongoose and the baby? So, uh, if you want, you can listen to the story once again and answer these questions in your notebook. Um, now we have different types of butterflies which are found in India. Let's read about them. The monarch butterfly. It's a very common but poisonous butterfly found worldwide. It eats milkweed in its larval stage and lays eggs on the poisonous milkweed. Monarchs have a wingspan, wings, the length of the wing of about 3-4 inches, like 8.6 to 12.4 centimeters. Um, but do you see the design and the key dots? on the butterfly watch carefully each butterfly okay <coughs> the tree nymph butterfly is found in southern india it's not found uh, it's normally not found in maharashtra but you will find that in kerala and tamil nadu it is one of the largest butterfly species of india with a wingspan of up to 160 centimeters wow 160 centimeter so that means it's a huge butterfly and this 
um, butterfly, monarch butterfly was only 12 centimeter. 8 to 12 centimeter. The scale that you have in your bag, it is 30 centimeter. So I'm just wondering, 160 centimeter means how big that butterfly would be. Its wings have black spots on a white body. It flies in a smooth gliding motion and likes to hover over a particular spot. Um, guys, I'll send you details about 160 centimeter or another video for tree nymph butterfly. I don't think it would be so big. 160 centimeter means huge. Itni body butterfly I have never seen. So this butterfly, you never know. But I'll find it out and tell you. Okay. The viceroy butterfly is a brown and orange non-poisonous butterfly that is very similar to the monarch. It is a bet. Bedestian mimic of the poisonous monarch. It can be distinguished from the monarch by the black line that crosses its wings. So uh, the, there is a thick black line on Viceroy and uh, you can also see its head. Also, the, the undersides of its wings are quite similar to the stop side, unlike the monarch whose underside is much lighter. So just have a look at it. <coughs> the colors, the designs, and tell me more differences between the two, Viceroy and Monarch. Peacock butterfly. Look at the colors. Look at the beauty. It is a common butterfly from the temperate parts of Europe and Asia. Um, this type of butterfly we don't normally see uh, in Maharashtra or Aurangabad, but in Asia, yes, it is found. This butterfly makes a hissing sound when it is alarmed, usually upon seeing a bird. Why do you think it feels alarmed when seeing a bird? Think over it. It makes a sound by rubbing its wings together. The wings are brownish purple, so the wings are brown or purple with a bright eye spot on each wing eye spots just like the wings look a bit like an owl's face the undersides of the wings are mottled grayish brown mottled grayish brown okay now zebra swallow tail look at its tail so it's a butterfly with distinctive black and white markings and elongated tails on its hind legs. So its legs have elongated tail. The caterpillar is yellow green with black and yellow stripes. The zebra swallow tail has a wingspan of about this much. 2 to 2.75 inches, 5 to 7 centimeters. The zebra swallowtail lives up for about 6 months in its adult age. So now I think it has a large, long lifespan. Now, as you have heard the description and you have seen the video, you have seen the photos, write their names here. Once you have done it, tell me what is Lepidopterophobia. Phobia means fear whenever you hear phobia you will know that it is fear of something so that's it see you soon with application book and complete the course book promptly jazakallah khair